With Hogwarts Legacy just over one week away now, the excitement is too much to bear. I've been watching all the showcases, all the trailers, and more recently, the various creators who got a two hour game session to play the game themselves early and record their point of views as well as their opinions. All that in mind, here are my top 10 things I'm most excited for in Hogwarts Legacy. Number one is the combat. The combat looks like so much fun, from its parry mechanic to stupefy opponents and comboing spells together to defeat them. Hogwarts Legacy combat is shaping up to be one of my favourite aspects of this game. With over 20 slottable spells and the options to switch and choose what we have equipped, there's going to be tons of variations for each encounter. Not only that, but many objects that we can use against our opponents will be scattered across the world, making for very interesting takedowns. Of course, it's not just mindless spellcasting however, because I am sure some enemies will need certain spells to break them, and there is the Protego shield which can be broken by the same coloured spell. A lot of the enemies also seem interesting and varied to some degree, so I'm hugely looking forward to sinking my teeth into my first battle in Hogwarts Legacy. Number 2 is Hogwarts, arguably its own character. I'd be surprised if most, if not all, who are looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy aren't super excited for the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry itself. With various classrooms, corridors, secrets and encounters with new and old characters, Hogwarts will be a wonder to explore. There seem to be so many things to do within just the school itself, let alone outside of it. Every part of this castle looks alive and thriving with character of its own. We will be able to explore iconic locations like the Great Hall, the Clock Tower, the Grand Staircase and more once we get to finally step foot in Hogwarts. Number 3 is Flying. With a number of mounts and broom customization, flying has to be on my list of top things to do in Hogwarts Legacy. We finally got to see recently players flying around Hogwarts Castle and boy does it look spectacular. Not only that, but flying through the countryside beyond Hogwarts and taking in all its wonders from up high is going to be a breathtaking experience. With the broomstick having its own mechanic for speed boosting and flying high, it won't be so straightforward as fly here. The potential to upgrade and customize your own broomstick has me excited to finally get my hands on it and really see the potential it holds. Not to mention the Hippogriff and Thestral which have already been shown off in various showcases and trailers. Number 4 is the story and the side quests. Not much has been given away in terms of the main story of Hogwarts Legacy, but it does have me rather intrigued. From goblin rebellions, dark wizards, beast poachers and an ancient magic mystery to unfold, the story of Hogwarts Legacy is looking rather interesting. It's already been said that the main questline takes around 35 plus hours just on its own with 100% completion taking around 70 plus. So there'll be plenty to uncover in Hogwarts Legacy's story and side quests. Number 5 is customization. We've had character customization shown off to us quite a bit with plenty to choose from in terms of face and hair options. The game has dozens of options for facial features and over 45 hairstyles to choose from. Hopefully there will be a good long hair option so I can really make myself. Not only that, but we've been shown tons of customization when it comes to gear and equipment as well as the rumor requirement itself. The game will have the options to transmog various pieces of gear to make sure you have the right stats and the right look for your witch or wizard. I personally can't wait to see the options for Ravenclaw themed outfits as well as the potential to represent my house's Quidditch team. Number 6 is classes. Going to Hogwarts, attending classes, as well as learning everything there is to know about the wizarding world has always been a dream for every Harry Potter fan. Now it is becoming reality, as with Hogwarts Legacy we'll have the opportunity to attend classes, learn and experience what it's like to be a student at Hogwarts. There will be classes that are mandatory for the main questline, but also classes that will be optional but will reward you with gear, experience and more spells to fill up your magical repertoire. We've been introduced to a few professors already, including the headmaster himself, but more on that later. Let me know in the comments what classes you guys are most excited for and be sure to like the video if you're enjoying it so far and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy content. Number 7 is Secrets. Hogwarts and the Wizarding World in general has always been known for its riddles and secrets. So of course it has to be a massive feature in Hogwarts Legacy. From blank frames you have to cast Lumos on to find and complete a puzzle. Moving statues and hidden field guide pages, there will be plenty to find and do around the world of Hogwarts Legacy. One of the first things I am going to be doing is looking for all the secrets in Hogwarts Castle and actually seeing what's hidden within the walls of this ancient school. Number 8 is Exploration. On top of secrets, you can't find them without exploring. There seems to be so much to do and explore in this world, from Hogwarts to Hogsmeade, to the Black Lake and the various little hamlets scattered around the world. There will be tons to discover. Living and breathing in every inch of this world that Avalanche Software have created will be a dream come true for many Harry Potter fans, including myself, and I seriously cannot wait to finally step foot in this world. Number 9 is Beasts. 
With so many other magical aspects to this game, it's hard to ignore the many beasts and magical creatures we will encounter throughout our time playing Hogwarts Legacy. From Nifflers to Graphorns, and even the little Mooncalfs, we'll be able to save these magical beasts and care for them in our various vivariums. Not only that, but there will be a beast class that we'll be able to attend to learn all about our magical friends. I am also interested to see how many of these beasts and creatures will be mountable, as we've already seen that the Graphorn can be a ground mount. So I'm very excited to finally discover all the beasts and creatures that will be roaming this world. Number 10 is the characters. We've been introduced to quite a few characters we will be meeting in the world of Hogwarts Legacy already, and I'm sure there's plenty more for us to meet. From Phineas Nigellus Black, who's being played by Simon Pegg, to Professor Fig, who seems to be the main professor helping us at Hogwarts. Not only are there a ton of professors for us to meet, but there'll be plenty of students as well. We've been introduced to many of our companions, including Sebastian Sallow, who interests me the most with the mysteries that surround him. Of course, how we meet and interact with these characters, I'm sure will vary depending on our dialogue choices, house choice, and various other aspects of the game which have been said to affect the main story in one way or another. Personally, I cannot wait to get to know these characters and explore Hogwarts Castle with them, as well as learn from the varied and interesting looking professors at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And those are just my top 10 things I'm most excited for in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm sure there's plenty more to look forward to when the game comes out. I'm interested to hear what you guys are also excited for, so be sure to leave a comment down below of what you're excited for, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more Hogwarts Legacy content as well as funny moments videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.